What's up everyone? It's your boy Dark Pool Algo and I just wanted to do a quick video on how I get prepped for the morning, uh, how I let my levels and kind of just get an overall structure for the market using the Flow Trade desktop. So we're going to get started. Uh, what you see in front of you is my Flow Trade prep panels. Uh, I basically have the primary and secondary time frames in one tab almost, right? So what you'll notice is you'll see the flow channels specific to the time frame. So currently I've got up the monthly and I color code everything. So my monthlies are orange, my weeklies are white, my dailies are purple, my four hours are green because that's where the money is. I don't really use the two hours other than to kind of look and see where the volume profile is. One hour, I don't have any of the flow channels on there uh, because my primary time frames are what I'm going to be looking off of. Um, and then on the 15s, I've got the flow trade Elliott, which I'll get into as soon as we get to there. So basically what I've done is I look at the monthly to kind of see overall trend. Looks like we're up trending. And then I'll drop two lines for the monthly 2.0 and monthly 1.5. Now, if you didn't know this, if you grab the line tool and you create a line after you've modified it, you can save it as a template over here. Oh, you're not going to see that. Save it as a, oh, you can't see that, lame. Anyway, you can save it as a template and then you can just go click to apply the template, okay? So what that does is allows you to save your, your primaries, um, your primary lines and just quickly be able to drop them. So you'll see as I get through this. All right, then jumping into the weeklies, right? Up and down and up and down and up and down. Nice little run, looking very topish. Right, and so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and move this around. I got the line. If you hit control and click, you can draw multiple lines. Then right clicking on this, you can apply the template, which is my weekly. You guys can't see it because of the way that the recording software is, but there are templates that you can use. Sometimes you gotta get a little closer. Okay, so I will go through and do all of that. One no, one thing to note is that on the the daily and the four hour, I like to drop the mids as well. So I'll do the daily. The, the daily tops and the daily bottoms with the daily mids, right? So that we can see kind of a full picture of everything. Uh, the only other exception is with the four hour, I will drop in a four hour 50 simple moving average. A lot of time, like there's a lot of trading done around this. It can be support or resistance, right? And then on the hourly chart, I've got the FT 50 and 200s because again, a lot of trading is done around these simple moving averages, these indicators that show basically support and resistance. Now onto the 15 minute where I've got the Elliott wave, the flow trade Elliott wave. If you're not familiar with it, it will plot the Elliott wave move for you. One up, two down, three is the long move, right? Four is a retrace. I like to look for the four because uh, I'll basically full send at that point because if it's pulled back and it's moving in its fifth leg of the Elliott wave, right? It's expected to make a higher high than the three. So if you got in here, you could just you could just trade this one trade and be good. So um, with that, uh, the other only other thing is I will go through and do this for each symbol that I trade and I'll do it for each prop firm that I'm trading. So it does take a little bit of time. Uh, however, once you get everything set up, uh, then it's just a matter of moving them every day. So again, I plan about 20, 30 minutes, but what's also nice is that it can give you, you know, you stay in touch with these larger time frames and the moves, right? And you can plot some Fibonacci's off of that if you, if you so wanted, right? So one on daily, right? You're looking at, I grab, did I grab the wrong one? use this one for now, right? 
So price went up, came back. It did not close below the, you know, with that full candle, half of a candle below the 382, which means that this trend is still valid, right? We did come down below the 382. Let me just scoot this up a little bit bigger. This isn't a fib lesson, but it's always nice to have, right? Price moves up. here price moves up to a high retraces through the golden pocket in the hot zone closes with at least the candle half of the candle above the 50 percent which means it's valid right on this one which means that the move is still valid uh, we did dip down the 382 but we didn't get a close below it so as we're moving up we can anticipate a move to 48.74, and then I like the 141 as my main target. 48.94 would be the target on that. So pretty easy. Thanks for joining me, and let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks.